Well, the Blacksburg Group in the uh, mid-70s, early 80s, created a series of about 75 books. Um, the book series started with Bug Books 1 and 2, and this started with Professor Roney, who was working with me uh, at the time, and we were teaching digital electronics, and there were no uh, good books that taught elect digital electronics right around the integrated circuit. So we decided it would be a good idea to write some experiments right around the chip itself. And uh, so a, a series of experiments were developed and bug books one and two were produced. Uh, Professor Roney did the writing in these books and we were associated with them in many ways, um, including finding the first market for the books. There were no market to start with. We self-published the first books in Blacksburg and we did sell them to eventually to uh, e l Instruments to market along with our outboards. And I went one time to uh, Howard W. Sams to see if they'd be interested in these books. And they said, no, they weren't really interested. Well, the books started to sell really well. And uh, about a year later, I went back to Howard Sams and they uh, were very interested in publishing the books. So we made a contract with them, it was sort of a master series contract where we were the series editor. And like I said, as a result of that, um, we created collectively with about 31 or so writers and Chris and John Titus and myself and Roni initially, and then Roni, I had some disputes with our group and dropped out. Um, and we created collectively uh, with these writers about 75 books. And you see them down here in front. There are all kinds of books dealing with microcomputers, digital electronics, and electronics in general. Uh, we don't know the exact number sold, but it was well over a million in the late 70s, early 80s. And Howard W. Sams gives uh, our group credit for creating the, the uh, computer book business for them. And of course, it was very good for us too. We were paid a nice royalty for all these books and it worked out really well. And we had a lot of hardware, computers, teaching stations and so forth that went with some of these books. Uh, along with writing the books in general, we private labeled some of them. Here's one we private labeled for Radio Shack. Uh, Radio Shack sold a number of thousands of these books. It was just repackaged re for Radio Shack. I was in Italy in 1975 the first microcomputer conference in Italy, or in Europe for that matter, I was in Venice, and I, was, I got to meet uh, Dr. Ryachi Mori from Japan, and he uh, was telling him about the bug books, and he said, well, we ought to translate those to Japanese. And I didn't think too much about it, but by golly, uh, he did translate uh, the first two books into Japanese, so we have a Japanese version. We also uh, became involved in some Italian operations, and I think about 22 of the books were translated into Italian, and uh, that was a nice operation. We did some teaching over there as well. As I said, we worked with various writers. The basic group was initially Professor Roney, John Titus, Chris Titus, and myself, and then as uh, Peter uh, disappeared from the group, uh, it was just Chris and John and myself, and we carried on the business for a number of years. And we did take on other writers, some of the writers, and we were the series editor called the Blacksburg Continuing Education Series. A uh, number of writers, Howard Berlin was one, and I just I had this book because his book was also translated into Italian, one of his books. We also had some German books, and I think a few uh, bootleg Spanish uh, books, and it was a wonderful time, gave us a lot of visibility. There, there's hundreds of thousands of engineers and technicians out there that use these books. In fact, I got a letter just two days ago, email from a fellow that used the books. I'm gonna be publishing a blog on that back in 1975, how much they helped him and so forth. So it was fascinating to uh, talk to all these people and to have a part in producing these books. Uh, it was a wonderful part of our background. We're glad to have them here in the museum. I said there was about 74, 75, or I actually don't really remember the exact number, but uh, they were from all kinds of writers and authors. I even made a contract with National Cash Register, published some of their material. 
and it was a fascinating time. We had books in transistor theory, prototyping, data acquisition, all kinds of books, even voice synthesis, robotics. But it was a group effort by a large group, directed primarily uh, in the end by Titus Brothers and myself. Wonderful experience, and um, the books are still available on uh, Amazon as used books. Some of them have gotten a little bit rare, and I've seen a few of them advertised for a few hundred dollars. I'm not sure anybody's buying them, but I've seen some advertised for some high prices. So it's uh, interesting to be part of that history, and we're delighted to be part of it and to have the books here in our museum.